what's going on guys Mickey CTX and today I'm gonna be talking about of course hot girls and college parties now both are great combination whenever you're gonna be in college of course you want the hot girls and the way to get them is well one of the ways to get them is going to parties now I'm not saying to fuck up your whole college life and not study no 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 I'm just saying to be more social so I'm gonna give you a few tips on how maybe you can actually improve your game this semester in college all right, so first things first, if you've never been the social type of person in high school and then now you're in college and, you know, you're partying, it's going to be something really fairly fucking new. So, the thing you have to do before you even get to college is try to first make some friends in high school. That's step number one. Once you meet some friends in high school, it's not going to be that hard to meet other friends in college. But that's just one of the ways to meet girls. Now, the other way, of course, is through mutual friends. Mutual friends is a good way to meet girls anytime of any place. It actually breaks the ice much easier because you can start talking shit in a good way, you know, just just fucking around like, oh, that you that you that you meet a home dude or home girl at so and so and just you know it's it sparks the relationship as friends and uh it's just easier to meet a girl sometimes that way. Now, where is the hot party part? Okay, so I'm from Houston. I'm from, you know, of course, if you guys don't know where Houston is at, it's in Texas, and we're not too far from Austin. Now, I'm not saying here that in the University of Houston, U of H Krugers, I'm not saying they don't have badass parties, but nothing beats an Austin party. Nothing beats a UT party in this area. Uh, I mean, there's other great colleges to go to, like the Aggies, but I'm more of a UT fan, even though they fucking suck this year in football, but that, that's another topic. I'm still a, you know, a longhorn at heart. So anyways... You want to go to a really cool party, you go to a big, huge campus. My campus is pretty damn big. It's not fucking big like UT, though. UT has a... It's like a city within a city. I think there's more people living in the campus than there is all of, you know, Austin. But, um, that's where I met some of the hottest girls ever. I've gone to some of the craziest, most awesome fucking parties of all time that I can still remember. Uh, I think it was like 7 o'clock in the morning we were still partying. And, I, and, I, and it's weird because I don't like the party till 7 o'clock in the morning and even then or today I don't like the party that late uh especially at 7 I mean I got shit to do the next day but for some fucking reason it was just so much vibe there was so much great people around you that you didn't want the night to end I remember calling my brother like at 8 in the morning wishing he was here and he's like what 11 years older than me so he's married had kids and all that he's like oh man uh, yeah whatever I wish that too but it was a great time I met a lot of girls it was just a way to meet new people and everybody was like fucking friendly so that's one other tip i can give you go to campus parties find out of parties that are going to be happening that semester and just fucking crash it if it's like at a you know like a public place you know don't, don't go to someone's house that you have no idea who they are you might get you know you might you might get some people that you know might start talking some shit but uh beyond that that's another good way to meet people going to fraternity parties and sorority parties and like initiations like it's called rush week and uh so i mean that that's a lot of things you can do now if you want to go the whole nine yards i i suggest you joining a fraternity if you're a guy if you're a girl then join a sorority you know that's really a good way to get your reputation a little bit more out there and of course if you want to be dating some hot ass bitches <laughs> you gotta be going to these type of parties uh social event that's where all hot girls go i mean unfortunately you're not gonna find every single hot girl at a fucking church or library or you know things like that things that your mom might tell you you might meet you know meet girls at you want to find a nice girl you go to church man I, I can't tell you how many girls don't go to church it is not very common because they're all hung over on sunday so they're not gonna go to church so th that's just one of the suggestions that i would do i love going to college parties and i mean i'm in college now so like that's just some things you gotta do if you want to go out and go to clubs it's it's always a good thing to go to clubs uh it's just the thing is it gets more tiring it's more expensive really uh so if you're on a budget it's really a better idea to go to a college party i mean there's a lot of free booze and a lot of you know just a lot of people and especially if you're under 21 you want to fucking drink you know of course you're in america then you go to a college party that's just what you do i mean i was under 21 and i didn't have the hookup in austin but i, I went to all these parties As a matter of fact i did this beer run uh there was this one after party that we went to and they were all passed out and I didn't, you know, initiate the beer run, but I did participate. So I'm, a, you know, I'm guilty as charged. Um, they had a big old cooler right there full of like, I think they were a red stripe beer. 
And we literally were in the second floor just throwing each beer down and somebody was catching them. We took like 20 beers, I think, because they had like hundreds of beers still after the after party. So that's one of the memories that I can tell you guys on me having a good time with my buddies. I mean, these are like memorable moments. You're never going to forget these things. It's just a lot of memories, a lot of good times. And I mean, there's things that you're just never going to forget. And if this is what things you want to do when you're in college, Hey, that's just one part of being a college student is going out with your friends. So if you're in college for the first time or you're going to go to college, just look forward to the parties. But don't let that shit overrun, you know, your schedule of school and things like that. Because there's other commentators that just talk about getting laid. And I talk about that too. But I'm also the type that, you know, puts education and fucking making money first. Because, you know, it's money over bitches. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, if you're a girl, it's money over guys. So um, get your get your party straightened. And don't go out there and fuck up and do some stupid shit and drop out of college and fuck up your credit and your mom's credit and all everybody's credit. So, so yeah, if you guys have any stories or anything you want to talk about college-wise, and uh, go ahead and comment below. I want to hear you guys out. And, uh, yeah, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more daily content here on this channel. And if you like this video, it would really, truly, truly mean a lot if you would hit that button because it really helps me out a lot. And there goes Facebook again. So, until next time, this is yours truly, Mickey CTX, and I'm out. Yeah, cause I got it like that Flow so smooth like I got it on tap Yeah, and I'ma say it be a good night While I'm on my yingling, while I'm drinking Bud Light Uh, can you get it when you miss me? Like I'm with whiskey, drinking Jim Beam Yeah, baby, do you do it, do it that way? Do you